Hello guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Shibum channel. And today I have a guest, uh, no other than the international football player, no other than Simone Rota. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and tonight I have a special guest us international football player Simone Rota Okay, uh, Simone, can you tell us about your story? Okay, first of all, I'm Simone, I'm 36 years old and I was adopted with my sister Valentina when I was 6 months from uh, Italian parents and we flew when I was eight months to Milan Yes. and I grew up in Milan so I'm, I think I'm more Italian than Filipino. So you never know who your parents are? No, I never know and actually is one of the most reasons why I came back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when I was young, I always wanna know where I belong and why my mom gave me away. So I came back there in Philippines to find them. But I didn't. You are a soccer player, right? Yes. So how you been uh, start as a being a football player? I get my first professional contract when I was 18 and since then I'm still playing so it's kind of why I'm going around the world to play. But Arsenal, right? Yeah, I really, I'm really proud about that because when I came back to Philippines I always want to represent my original country so after I came back to Philippines I get the call after five months and then we achieved something special with the national team, so I'm pretty proud of it. So, can you tell us about your experience being an Asphalt player? Well, when I get the call, I had my first uh, international game in Malaysia with uh, Thomas Dooley, a uh, coach from US. And I found out there was a lot of uh, Filipino from another country of the world. U.S. and Germany, Spain. So um, I get lucky to meet a lot of culture in our team, and besides Filipino culture, rather. So I get lucky. Now that you are not a member of the Ascas, what you are doing right now? Well, I still play for the local uh, team, in Sky FC. Ah, that's a new one on a new team. Yeah, it belongs from Hilo Hilo. But beside that, I is one of the most reasons I come back to Philippines is uh, to stay in the orphanage where I belong and help the sister and the kids that are there. So I recognize more myself more a missionary than a football player anyway. So that's ah, so beside of you are being a football player, you are also helping. Is my main purpose in my life. Yeah. That was nice. Thanks. Congratulations to you. Your first house and second house again. I have two houses here in Milan and in Philippines, there in the orphanage. Yeah, because your parents are Italian, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And then when you're going back to the Philippines, so the orphanage house is being your house again because you remember that you become there. I belong from them because if it's not for system made, I wasn't adopt and there was a blessing to have amazing family and sister, so that's why I came back there because I saw uh, every day a lot of kids that they don't have parents, mom and dad. So I recognized myself if it was a it was an adult. So that's why I'm trying to help them to find their way. 
Uh -huh. But I, I know that you know you have your parents, the Italian parents, right? But you are still looking your original parents. Uh, this is a something or what's in your uh, uh, heart while you are going to find your parents? I was not looking for them. I was looking most for myself because I didn't know where I belong. And sometimes, you know, when you grow up, you don't know where, where or who you are. So I was just trying to find this, do I want to find my original parents, but I would just find myself. And I find myself in the orphanage, so I'm not looking anymore for them. So many uh, girls are asking that Simone Rota is still single? Yeah, I love also the, the sister there, they always asking me if I have someone, but... Um, it's been almost one year I'm single and then um, during the pandemic I found myself again so I mean I'm not looking for anyone now I'm just focusing to help them and make sure my family is okay here if you now if your parents are watching this video mm. and then what you can say to them you know and um, I came back one time a year, so especially the last two, three years, I can see the changing of them, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard for me mm -hmm. sometimes to stay away and know that one day they will need me or my sister. So anyway, I already prepared myself that one day I just came back there because it's a secret of life, right? So they take care of me when I was kids, and then I will take care of them when they uh -huh. need me. So okay. that's what so it is. In the well, I know I I learned that uh, there are a lot of stories that you know why a mom can abandon the kids. Maybe because I don't know, but I changed my mind and I think that. It was a blessing because I can see a lot of pain in the orphanage from kids that was abandoned, so they don't have future. So I think that it was a blessing that I get adopted. So I don't know if there was an intention or a mistake or whatever, but I say just thank you because they give me a better life. Hmm. How can you see yourself uh, five years from now? You know. This question is almost asking my mom to me almost every day, mm -hmm. and I know that I don't know. I mean, I still want to play until 39, and then I no, you're stay. very young, so don't stop. Yeah, but I, I like as long as you can uh, play, then uh, make Filipino proud, of course, Italian proud. Yeah, I have something also in Manila and I think that I will, when I will stop playing, I will stay like back and forth six months in Italy, six months in Philippines because obviously I need to have Sister May and I need to have my mom and dad when they need so I mean, Do you see yourself that you have a family or a children? Well, I didn't plan, but uh, I am the legal guard of two kids in the mission. It's mm -hmm. Chiara and Sofia. Chiara came when he was two months, and Sofia came three years ago in, during the night. Mm -hmm. The was actually was 11 p.m. and then the taxi driver box on on, 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 uh, on the gate, and they just give Sofia so. They recognize me uh, like that because they always come to my room and then I know when Sister May, I hope that long, as long the late one, but I will have to take over and then I mean I will take care of that. Okay, that's nice. Some other talk is that you do modeling and then I was sorry about it. Well, uh, before I always refused because um, I was just focus on football. But now during the pandemic, just opened my mind because I think that 
Everything can is good can come in my life, at least unless you're doing it properly. So I met amazing people, Christian, Ademar, and then Monica that asked me to to start the help me so just sign and then help that become something nice for everyone. That's nice and you enjoy yourself also in your life. So I don't want to uh, escape this question to you. We have a fast talk. Okay. 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 <laughs> Sex or chocolate? Sex. Sex. Lights on or lights off? On. Wow, guys. Uh, top or bottom? <laughs> top. I like to take control. What the most you like a girl? A blonde girl, Filipina, Italian, Mexican, Asian, European. Honestly, I don't have the favorite looking. I always have uh, an eye for six cents. If somebody give me a um, uh, a good vibe, mm -hmm. you know, the skin yeah. is the feeling. As a man, I mean, for me, it can be beautiful for the other thing. Longer, long hair or short hair? Longer, long hair. Oh wow! Thank you very much, Simone, for uh, giving me a chance uh, to talk with you. And then, uh, what you can say to your Filipino fans out there? Well, first of all, thank you to to help me for my shooting, to give me some exclusive stuff. Yeah, <laughs> No. <laughs> 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 Filipino start to uh, be proud of our own culture and not looking for like other people from other countries that they are better than us. Mm -hmm. So I would like one day like all Filipinos be really proud about our native culture there. But I feel so thank you very much, and then I hope you uh, you are successful in your career. And then uh, yes, <laughs> uh, really, I'm glad to uh, to see you again and to interview you about this. And then I hope that you you uh, your success, and then you can find your parents too. And then you have a nice uh, future. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you very much guys for today. So thank you for watching. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my videos. At kung hindi ka pa nang subscribe, please subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments below and click the bottom bell. Thank you so much. Bye. I have here. No, no, no. You've been. Uh...